the TCU Horn Frogs. They don't want me to forget about them. I'm not going to forget about you guys. In fact, we're going to talk about your helmets right now. But first, some are wondering, what's a Horn Frog and how did it become TCU's mascot? Well, the Texas Horned Lizard is the largest of the 15 species of Horned Lizards found in the U.S. It's commonly referred to as the Horned Toad or Horned Frog. In 1897, the yearbook staff at the school was looking to name their annual. Apparently, the football field was covered in horned frogs, and the staff thought, that's perfect, we'll call ourselves the Horned Frogs, and it's been the school's nickname ever since. On to the helmets. We'll start in 1946. TCU wore a purple helmet with a white stripe through 1953. In 1954, they made one modification. They started wearing face masks. This look runs through 1957. 1958. Players' numbers are added in white, and this is worn through 1959. In 1960, the Horned Frogs switch to a white helmet with black numbers and wear this through 1964. 1965, the Horned Frog makes its first appearance in all white on a purple helmet with a white stripe. This was only worn one season. The following season, in 1966, a more cartoonish Horned Frog appears on the helmet, and this is also worn for one year. In 1967, TCU lettering appears on either side of the helmet, and again, this only lasts one season. 1968, it's back to players' numbers in white, and the center striping is now purple with white on either side. The next year, in 1969, the helmets are changed to white with players' numbers in purple. This is the look through 1970. 1971, TCU goes to a silver shell for the first time with interlocking TCU in purple. This look was initiated by first-year head coach Jim Pittman, who sadly passed away on the sidelines of TCU's game against Baylor on October 30th of that year. In 1974, it's back to purple with white lettering and stripes. This helmet was worn through 1976. While the look isn't bad, the team was. They only won two games in three years wearing this helmet. In 1977, it's back to a silver shell and a new TCU font. This helmet was worn up until the Horned Frogs played Texas Tech in the ninth game of the 1980 season. That's when head coach F.A. Dry ordered the helmets changed to purple. He said, at the time, all TCU championship teams had purple helmets. The color change worked. TCU beat Texas Tech 24 to 17. It was TCU's only win that season. The next week against Texas, the face masks are changed from gray to white, and this is worn into the 1982 season. Then with two games left in 1982, TCU was gearing up to play Texas. Coach Dry switched the helmets again, this time to a retro look with player numbers and a solid center stripe. The change didn't work as well as Dry's last helmet change, and TCU lost to Texas 38-21. When Jim Wacker took over as coach in 1983, he switched the look right back, and it was worn through 1991. In 1992, new TCU lettering appears on the helmet, but it's only worn one season. In 1993, TCU goes to silver with a purple TCU and purple and white striping. It lasts through 1994. In 1995, TCU starts working back into this look. Silver helmet, purple arch TCU trimmed in black, and black face masks. The helmet is worn through 1997. In 1998, TCU goes to a metallic purple lid. TCU in white lettering and a gray horn frog outlined in black with black face masks. This is worn through 2010. There were a couple alternates along the way. In 2009 against Utah, this Nike design look is rolled out. The red lines represented the blood that real life horned frogs could shoot out of their eyes. Yes, horned frogs can shoot blood out of their eyes. This helmet was also worn in the Fiesta Bowl that year. In 2010, Nike also released this silver horned frog skin styled helmet with black lettering and tapered black center stripe that also had those red lines. This was worn for two games. On January 1st, 2011, TCU played Wisconsin in the Rose Bowl, added a rose to the Horned Frogs' mouth. TCU won that game 21-19. Three new helmets came out in the 2011 regular season. For the first half of the season, this frog skin purple helmet with TCU in white and black center stripe. For the second half, TCU wore a similar look, but with the Horned Frog under the lettering. This and the previous helmet were worn through 2014. For the season finale against UNLV, they wore the frog skin styled silver helmet with white TCU and frog outlined in black. This was worn 
once. In 2012, similar helmet is released, but it has a purple center stripe and TCU is in purple. This was worn against Grambling. Also in 2012, this hydrochrome purple helmet comes out with TCU in white and a gray frog. This helmet is worn heavily in the rotation through 2018 with a number of alternates along the way. In 2013, this matte purple helmet with black highlights was used twice. Once again, the red is for the blood the horned frog shoots out of its eyes. Also in 2013, this silver frog skin helmet, similar to the 2012 one, but worn with a black center stripe against Oklahoma. 2014, two new helmets come online, white with purple TCU and face masks along with a silver horned frog and the same helmet with purple and black center stripe and a black face mask. Three new helmets appear in 2015 and all of them last through 2018. The first is purple with a new frog skin look, white TCU and stripe and silver frog. Gray textured helmet with white letters and stripe and no frog. And a white helmet with the texture in the purple and black stripe and lettering with the silver frog. 2016 through 2021, this purple metallic horn frog look which was worn one to four times a year over that six year span. 2019, TCU debuted this look against Texas. This is their battle blood helmet. It was worn once a year for three straight years. We're in the home stretch. Three other new helmets in 2019, purple with black stripe and white TCU and silver frog. White with purple stripe and lettering silver frog. Matte black with purple stripe, white lettering, silver frog. The black helmet went through 2020, the other two through 2021. Four new helmets in 2022. This purple helmet is a current option. This white helmet is a current option. This large horned toad outlined in white has been worn with both purple and black face mask. And this modified battle blood look was worn against the Oklahoma Sooners. 2023 has seen two new looks large metallic horn toad on a purple helmet and the same logo on a white helmet. That's it. Tell me who you'd like to see next in the comments and follow Hooked on Helmets so you don't miss it.